Recap. Our fluid simulation bake is getting close to finishing focus. Well, if I can't get it to focus, that's 82. Okay, I think those are the things. So let's do the time warp again. So then I can go from here so you can see the full chart. So this is the this is the glass shader setup. Coming over here, this is the principled setup. It looks a lot more simple, <laughs> I guess. But if I hold down Alt, I've set the hotkeys up so that I can jump up here, I can jump over here, middle, lowers, and it doesn't really matter in which order I do it either. Um, can make myself large, so we can have a chit chat. I can shrink back down again so that I can like show off something or play a game. Visible. But it's also when are those visible while one of the effects are happening? So like the side to side scanner or the top down scanner are happening. And the day just sort of became really sort of a Tetris puzzle sort of thing where it was like, well, it has to happen this way in this scene, or maybe it would be better if these filters were in a different scene sort of situation. What I've learned in the past was that if I tried to apply a wiggle thing to like a necklace or like a ponytail or some such, and then I tried to render the animation, um, the wiggle isn't actually accounted for until I bake the animation in there. And that's the recap. The videos can be seen in their full length and full context over here. Tyler in progress.